Hi, my name is Lisa. I am a former 45-year registered Democrat who has decided to walk away. Uh, I guess I started having this revelation about what was going on with my party back during the debate time when we were trying to pick a candidate to run against the Republican candidate, and the DNC decided to force Hillary Clinton down our throats, whether we wanted her or not, and even went to the point of cheating. I find the party left me, I didn't leave them, it's become a party of extreme left-wing extremists uh, who are just filled with hate and anger, disrespect, lack of compassion, lack of tolerance, and that's not what the Democratic Party has represented to, to me for the last 45 years. I joined the party right at the tail end of the Vietnam War. It called to me. It was to be an inclusive party that was going to represent all people of all color, of all sexuality. And it was the party of, of love and compassion and tolerance and respect for the freedom of speech. And those, those things are gone now. Now it's just name calling, tagging people that disagree with you, a Nazi, uh, you know, just some kind of a bigot, a racist, just a horrible name that has been used so many times now it doesn't even have an effect on people anymore. And it's just identity politics and it's pretty disgusting. I'm embarrassed at the direction my party's gone. It is certainly leaning more towards a socialist party now and none of my representatives have done anything to try to stop it. And so they no longer share the values that I have and I will be taking my vote elsewhere. I have moved more into the independent and will be voting for who I want. And I will not have a party dictating to me and forcing a candidate down my throat. I could never in good conscience vote for Hillary Clinton. And I am not a Russian. I've never been to Russia. I don't speak Russian. I'm certainly not a robot to the best of my ability, and I am just absolutely disgusted that mainstream media is trying to do its best to discredit this movement. The movement now has 110,000 people in it that are pretty much like me. They're sick of the nasty politics, and they just want to, to be more moderate, and so they've chosen to walk away. And until the Democratic Party can do something to um, stop their, their, their voters from the kind of behavior that's going on, I think it's going to continue to, to lose members. And it's unfortunate because I always believed that the Democratic Party was the party of tolerance, and it certainly isn't. Thank you.